Welcome to our today's English lesson. As we, if you remember what we learned uh, in our previous lesson, we talked of uh, colloquial expressions, which I was happy some, some of you brought their work for marking, but a few of you are still holding their, their, their work. They have not yet submitted their work, their, their, their work for marking. So I will urge you learners, once you have finished your work, uh, send it for marking and then we see which way to help one another. So in this, in this our next lesson, we want to look at how to change direct to indirect speech. Not indirect to direct. Just one way first, we begin finish with the direct or indirect. Then in our next lesson, we look at how to change indirect speech to direct speech. So before we begin, I'd like to look at some few things that we will look in this category. In this particular topic, Lana, the tense, the tense of the, of the sentence matters a lot. We look at the tense. Like here, we are talking of Mary said. So said here meaning it is in past tense. And what did Mary say? Mary said that I go to church. Look at the word that that tense, go. Go is in present, is in present simple. Meaning it is something that happens all the time. Mary say that he normally go to church. That's why Lana, after looking at the, at the tense that Lana from there, we are able to get the answer correctly by saying that Mary said, Mary said, we change that Mary said that, Mary said that she goes, that she goes, she goes to church. So now, now if you are very keen, we have maintained our said, and again, Mary said that she goes. We don't change that. It remains present simple. If you, if, you, if you can't change that to be in the past by saying that Mary said that she went to church. You can't put went here because Mary speaks in the present simple tense there. Hence, it must remain like that. Mary said that she goes to church. And that is the correct answer. Uh, another thing that we are realizing that we normally put when writing the the uh, your sentences in the in the in the in the direct speech, we normally have after said or maybe exclaimed or even answered, we normally have an opening speech mark. And the opening speech mark comes. And after that immediately we have a capital letter. This is where most of you go wrong. There must be a capital letter here. When immediately you you, you, you begin the opening speech mark, there must be a capital letter there. So then I mark that. And then as you end, there must be a full stop followed by the, or the, the closing mark. The closing should not come before. Normally people write there, and then come and put a full stop here. That is very wrong. Lana, the full stop will come just immediately after the last word, and then a uh, closing will come after that. So Lana, we are just going to the next example to see whether we can get them correct. Uh, correct. Our second example is going to be our example two. I'm going to write this sentence. He said, he said to Sam, say to Sam, I will be going tomorrow. I will be going tomorrow. That is what we'll say to Sam. So we'll take this, Lana. To be in, the, in, in to be in uh, in direct speech by beginning with the, looking at the other tense first. We are seeing said here. Meaning this is past tense. To some that I will be going, will be going, is in future. It is not that has not taken place. So it is in the future tense. So our our this is future. Future tense. So we will come and say now. He said he told some that he would be going. So we will tend to be wood now. He told some, he told some, he told some that, that he would be going. And you can see tomorrow here. You can say he would be going tomorrow. Tomorrow tends to be the next day. Be going the next, the next day. Or we can say the following day. It depends on what we want to say. 
the next day can apply or the following day. So he told Sam that he would be going. Sam is somebody's name, ensure that he's ready in the, the capital letter. So he told Sam that he would be going the following day or the next day. Very correct. Example three, we can give uh, this one here. Do you like? Do you like to see? Do you like to see some more some more houses? So question we close. Asked asked the agent. So this is an agent talking to somebody who is looking for a house. So you look at the way we have begun. After opening speech mark, we have begun here with the capital letter. And you must know the difference between a small and capital letter. A small W looks like this. It has a round shape, the way I've written. Whether you like it as big as possible, you may decide to write like that. It's still small. So when you make the shapes to be different, now it look like this in a V shape that is now a capital letter. And that's why you saw me writing a capital letter here. Because we are beginning our speech mark, we are beginning our sentence. I came and wrote it like this. So that one is a, a capital W. So would you like to see some more houses? Question mark. We end of quote. Ask the agent. So that sentence learner, if you realize how it is, would you like to see? Who would hear is this your possibility? We are just asking if you would wish to, to see to see the, the household note as the agent. So this one will just come learner to be the agent asked me whether I would like to see more houses. The agent asked me. It is the agent who is asking. As the agent. So the learner and uh, another thing that I didn't mention, maintain the article. The article here is there. We may use as an agent. Maintain that an the Dandika officers. So ask an agent. Here we are talking of them. So we talk of them here. The the agent the agent asks the agent asks me whether the agent asks me whether I would whether I would uh, like to see like to see more houses. Full stop. He asks you whether you wish to see more houses. Would you like to see? What we are now converting to see? Whether I would like to see more houses. Don't say or not. No. Whether it's just enough. Whether we would wish to see more houses. Then I will go to maybe the, our second last example. I'm not going to give more. And the members of Atlanta, we are, we are dealing with, we must look at the, ten, the, the tense of the, of, the, of, the, of the sentence. Another one is this one, the client say to the lawyer, the client say it, the lawyer, open, how much are the fees? How much are they? the fees? So this is what these are the actual words spoken by the lawyer. This is what who, whoever say the words are the, uh, the client say the lawyer. But the actual words of the client are this: How much are the fees? So we we put or we put in in quotation marks. The actual word spoken by the speaker, and the speaker in this case is what? Is the client. Hence you come and say, the tense of this is said, meaning this is fast. And then here, how much are the fees? This one was just uh, said in present simple. So you come and uh, look at the, at, the, at the sentence and will now make it clear. The client asked the lawyer, it's a question, right? The client asked, this was just a question, because of how much. So you expect an answer there. So we say the uh, the client asked the lawyer how much the fee, how much 
the fee were how much the fees were the client asked the lawyer how much the fees were don't say are because we are reporting we begin there the client the client asked the lawyer asked the lawyer how much how much the fees were full stop. He asked how much the fee was so that he could see whether to pay, whether he would, he would manage to pay or not. Then our last one, then our last example is this one is going to be number five. He said to her, say to her, I was suffering from backache. Suffering, I was suffering from from uh, malaria. Let me give you malaria. He said to her, I was suffering from malaria. And we are seeing was here. Meaning that this, that this was past continuous. This thing was happening. He was continuing to suffer. I was suffering from malaria. And then he said, This one is the past tense. So it gives us very uh, a, a link, uh, a hint that we are supposed to say that he told her, he told her, he told her that he was suffering. He told her this her is not we have, we don't know the person that's why you're using that 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 pronoun her. So he told her in the past. Told is in the past. He told her that that he was. So because it is he. He told her that he was suffering, suffering, he was suffering from malaria. Now, now with those examples, I'm very sure you are able to do looking at the tense or the verb or the of the of the sentence, and then look at the articles used. Here I mentioned the lawyer, and here I came and used the lawyer. Don't use a. Because in examination, you realize you can be brought on a very simple one. Uh, like, uh, John is playing with a dog. John is playing with a dog. Mother said. Mother said that John was playing with a dog. We must add that I must come there. John was playing with a dog. Don't now say that John was playing with a dog. There is not there. So maintain that article used. And for to make your answer correct, but because you may, you may get in examination, we have choice A, B, C, D, and one of the choices may have the article. One of the one of the uh, most of the other of the choices there may not have that article. So you go for that answer that has the the article. So now I may give one orally. I don't know what not going from the board. They said they said to bad. Uh, bad is somebody's name. When are you coming to our place? They said, maybe let me use the word Tom, a common name. They say to Tom, uh, comma, open quotes, when are you coming to our place? The question. So I will change that learner into direct speech, reported speech. They asked, since a question, that's why they may not, because uh, we have the word said there, but because the end there we have a question mark. A question mark is uh, what tells you that that does a question directly. We come and say that uh, they asked Bad when he was coming to their, their place. They asked Bad when he was coming to their place. They, are, uh, they say to Bad, when are you coming to our place? Is a question. That's why we use the word ask. They asked Bad when he was coming to their, their place. The last one before I give you one. Mrs. Nancy said to him, uh, beginning of what? John will come at 2 p.m. Mrs. Nancy said to him, John will come at 2 p.m. So we can see that will, it is the future tense. So Mrs. Nancy said to him that John would. So will, will change to would. That man, and you can see it very clearly. Uh -huh. Mrs. Nancy said that 
to him that John will come at 2 p.m. So, Lana, I'm not going to continue more than that. I'm only giving you work, the work that I'll, I'm going to write down and then uh, send it to you so that you can uh, find your own time to revise this one. This work you have already in your textbooks there. You can revise it more in conjunction with whatever I've added now. And then I'm going to do, give you work that you'll do well. And then ensure you, 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 you hand it on, you, you hand it over for Matthew. So after doing it, take a good snap of it, then bring it to me through the wall, through, through my inbox, then I'll mark it and submit it back to you to look at the corrections. So until next time, I want to wish you well. Be very busy at home and stay safe to avoid the spread of COVID. Thank you and God bless you.